The world of My Hero Academia is ran by quirks. There's plenty of cool and interesting quirks, ranging from creating explosions to having vines for hair. You can be born with a cool quirk, like controlling the wind, like Aang from Avatar, to a quirk that allows you to attract small things, like my will to live. But how useful would some of these quirks be in real life? Koda definitely picked the wrong line of work to study considering his quirk. Talking to animals is your powers as a superhero? Do you really want to be known as a hero who sends a flock of pigeons to fight a guy who shoots fucking fire out of his hands? The only thing I could see him saving with a quirk like that is saving the pandas from themselves of causing themselves of going extinct. But also some cool quirks could be near useless in real life. Sure, being able to make fire is cool, but how useful is that when you're working a 9 to 5 as a bank accountant? What I'm trying to say is, there are some quirks that would be extremely useful in every day to day life. I'm gonna pick 6 of them. At number 6, we have the most generic power of all, One For All. One For All is a simple quirk. It's a quirk that grants the user superhuman strength and speed. Having superhuman strength and speed would be really useful in real life. I could become a famous athlete, or even pursue my dream and hold the WWE and UFC Heavyweight Championship at the same time. Or even for day to day use, being faster and stronger than most humans would be very handy. You know what? I could do extraordinary things with this power. I can. I can be a superhero! At number 5, we have Weld. This quirk belongs to Class 1B student Yosetsu Owasi. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Weld allows Yosetsu to merge things both organic and inorganic at an atomic level. With this quirk, I can do what every high school dropout and every person too lazy to go to college so they go to a trade school wants to do and become a welder. You could become the richest welder of all time by being able to weld anything together with the touch of your hand. Oh, you want that building weld? <laughs> Done. Oh, you want this car welded back together? <laughs> Easy. Oh, you want me to weld a toilet to the ceiling? I'm not going to question it, but done. Oh, you want me to weld your marriage back together? <laughs> uh, sorry, pal. I'm, I'm not a miracle worker. Welders already make stupid amounts of money. So this quirk will be a bonus because your weld will be inseparable until you touch it again. People will call you from far and wide to weld stuff for them. The money you can make is limitless. Or you can be some boring guy and use it to fix things around the house because you use super glue one time and now you don't have skin on the tip of your pointer finger. At number four, we have electrification. This quirk belongs to class 1A student, Danky Kaminari. Danky's quirk allows him to cover his body in electricity, if, if you can tell by the name of the quirk. While he can also emit this energy, Danky has little control over it. The usefulness for this is high. I can be a walking battery. Never having to worry about my phone dying would be great. Thing you hated when you're watching an episode of My Hero Academia Season 4 on Funimation on the couch and the lights go off? Well, with this quirk, you never have to worry about the electric bill ever again. With an elaborate setup for your house, you can be a walking battery for your house. Just shove a plug up your ass and boom, free electricity for the rest of your life. Then with all the money you saved from never paying for electricity, you could buy an electric car and never worry about the impending rising gas prices. At number 3, we have Overhaul. This quirk belongs to the main antagonist of My Hero Academia Season 4, Kai Chiyosaki. Overhaul grants him the ability to disassemble and reassemble anything he touches, effectively giving him full control over matter. He can disassemble people to kill them or reassemble them to heal them. Not only is this quirk powerful as hell in the My Hero Academia universe, but it's also extremely useful in real life. You can use the disassemble portion of the quirk to possibly become a one-man demolition machine for hire, destroying any building with the touch of a finger. Or you can use the more useful reassembling portion. Anything you break, you can reassemble while having to buy a new one. Or even you can become a doctor, disassembling and then reassembling your patients without no injuries. You alone can become the cure for cancer. I mean, sure the person will feel the pain of having their chest exploded, but hey, they can live the rest of their life knowing that you got rid of the threatening breast cancer. At number two, we have brainwashing. This quirk belongs to UA student Hitoshi Shinzo. Brainwashing allows Hitoshi to assume control of anyone who responds to one of his statements, forcing them to do as he says. 
We all can find use in brainwashing people in real life. You can brainwash your teacher to giving you 100% A on all your assignments without you having to do the work. You can brainwash the bank account to giving you all the money in the safe. But personally, I'll use this quirk to become the most powerful man in the world. I will work my way up brainwashing people till I'm the president's right hand man. Then, with a bit more planning, I will become the president. Then I can make alliances with the world powers and rule the world. But that's a lot of work and I'll, I'll just use it to pass university. And at number one, it's creation. This quirk belongs to class 1A student Momo Yayurozu. Creation allows Momo to materialize different objects such as weapons and tools from any exposed part of her body. Apart from living things, Momo has the potential to replicate virtually any object. No matter how complex or advanced a structure may be, she only requires to understand the atomic configuration of said object in order to reproduce it. It was almost a, a given that this would be the number one quirk. I mean, come on, this almost beats anything on the list. The ability to create anything, just think about it. You want that new pair of Jordans? Bam, you can make them. And without the cost of having to own a sweatshop full of 12 year old Chinese people. Needing a new outfit to go on that date later tonight? I mean, I highly doubt you're going on a date later tonight, but bam, you can make it. You want that Mustang you've always dreamed of? Boom, you can make it. You wouldn't have to pay for anything ever again. Or you can do the simple thing and just make infinite money and buy all those things. Live your life in luxury as a billionaire. There's just one problem or one question I have to ask. In the anime, it's shown Momo can make food using her quirk. If you eat the food that you make with this quirk, are you considered a cannibal? 